All right, what's going on, guys? It's Tracky here. So um, today we got another fran franchise. You know, you know what? You know what the series is. It's the strategy one. Today we're gonna be doing uh, the speed strategy. So let's just go ahead and find us a team. And uh, in the comments below. Uh, also, we hit a thousand subscribers. You guys didn't know that. Uh, I didn't talk about it in yesterday's video <laughs> because we hit uh, twenty thousand the same day that I made that video. So I haven't talked about it yet. But thank you guys for twenty thousand. I made a little video on that, real, just real quick. Uh, you can watch that for some information. If not, we hit we, th we hit a thousand subs. And uh, also, I uh, I'm trying something uh, new out with the Sony Vegas settings. Yesterday's video was eh. I didn't like it. I fixed them. So hopefully this video they sound a little better as well as the one of me talking about hitting a thousand subs and thank you guys for that again. So let's go ahead and get into this. So we got the Mets it looks like. Um, and ooh, 24th pick. All right. I don't know that I really like that, but all right. So today we're going to be taking speed. So we probably need to just go ahead and start in the outfield. And Carlos Gomez is probably the guy to look at there. Puig, not a bad one. Actually, I think we can get we might be able to get Puig on the way back around, actually. So Carlos Gomez stands out as a guy I really, really like. No, it's Roger Davis. Um So yeah, I, I, I like Carlos Gomez to start right here, I think. Um I don't see anybody else that's Right now, eh, Jose Altuve, and he fills the second base position. Carlos Gomez might be, but he's a better hit. I, don't, I mean, he's a he just has more power. D. Gordon, I just don't. I can't take them first overall. I just can't get myself to do that. I, I need to go. Okay, <laughs> Carlos Gomez is. Uh, God, it's such a hard pick. Because that's like a... Oh my god. I, I, I had to take him. And Gomez is still there. We got them both. We got them both. So look, that was fine. It worked out just fine. Um, I like, I'm a big fan of Jose Altuve. So, yeah. Um, okay, so... I really like the start of this already. Um, two fast guys already right there. Um, so, yeah, that, that works out pretty well. So, I mean, this is going to be kind of tough because a lot of the, some of the positions like first base and third base, you're probably not going to find very many fast people. So I'm just going to have to go with the fastest I can get. And Hosmer actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, let's see. We get a quick pick right here, so I might be able to get Hosmer and someone else. I think that's what I want to go for. Kyle Seeger, not a bad pick here. And Desmond. Well, I think there's fa there's faster guys. Yeah, Gene Skira can be a sleeper if we remember him. So I kind of like Kyle Seeger. Ooh, Brett Gardner, I like that, but I feel like we need to get some infield positions first. God, there's so many good players in the outfield. That actually have speed. Right field actually could be a worrisome position, so I might need to actually go ahead and get somebody somewhat quick. And I'm a big fan of Jock, honestly. Mookie Betts. Ooh, that is a really... I just can't take him this early. Okay, we're going to go Kyle Seager, I think. What is the best overall player right now? 88. Ian Desmond. He's got 67 speed. He's a good hitter. He plays shortstop. Let's compare Ian Desmond to Kyle Seeger. Okay, Kyle Seeger basically has 70s across the board in the hitting. He's a great fielder, 64 speed. Desmond, a good fielder, 60s across the board, 67 speed. Kyle Seeker's the better pick. I mean, I I don't know. I just like that better. Okay. Um, there was someone else I had in my head. Who was it? Was it Hosmer? Yeah, we need to take Hosmer this time. Otherwise, we're not getting him. Um, 
I, I like that pick a lot, actually. So coming back here now, we're probably going to look at an outfielder. Um, we have our whole infield fillet, I think. Yep. Except for shortstop. So we need to uh, make sure it's, that we get somebody there. But I want to get an outfielder this round. So let's see. Jason Hayward is not a bad guy right there. I don't know that he's a, the kind of hitter that I really want. Bear, not even 60s across the board. Alex Rios might not be a terrible pick. JD Mark, nah, he's too slow. Hmm. Okay, well, if worst comes to worst, we can get Trod Dyson. But I think I want to get an, another outfielder here, definitely, that's uh, actually a good one. And Alex Guerrero isn't bad. 65. See, I don't know what to consider like speed, speed because I, as much I'm looking at guys that can actually run, but also can actually hit. So that's where it's like you know, kind of difficult. I don't think I want Jason Hayward. I don't think I want him. I just don't think he's fast. Enough. Well, he's fast enough. I just don't think he's a good enough hitter. He does play very, very good in the outfield. Like he can really play the right field position very well. Um, I kind of like Charlie Blackman. Um, his arm isn't really strong enough to play right field, but we can always put Gomez there. And I, I kind of like that. Jason Worth's hurt, so I don't want, I don't really want him. He's not fast anyway. I, I like Alex Guerrero. I, I actually do. There's a strong part of me saying that I want Alex Guerrero. And there's a good chance that Alex Guerrero... Ooh, Christian Yelich is a later guy that we could get. See, there's guys here that we can get a little later. I, I think that... You know what? Change in strategy. That was just out of nowhere. Let's see what's what's here. Okay, they're both still here. Both the guys I was looking at. Alex Guerrero and Charlie Blackman. Sixty five speed, seventy four speed. And see, I would take Rajay Davis if I was only going off of speed, but I'm not doing that. I'm still trying to get a good team here. Um because Rajai Davis is not that great, great player. See, these guys all have some speed. All the center fielders pretty much have speed, at least a little bit. And there's guys here that I could still get later. But I want to get a good guy, and I like Alex Guerrero, kind of. He's on left field, so he doesn't have to be blazing fast. And he still has 65 speed, which isn't slow. You know, Anthony Rendon is around there. And you guys have seen him in my Rangers franchise if you watch that. I'm going to go Alex Guerrero. I think that's a good pick. You know, you might disagree, but... You know, we've kind of abandoned <laughs> pitching and catching here, but that's kind of what we're going we're gonna to do for these these types of videos. Um, I do kind of want to look at a catcher here real quick, just to see if there's anybody that even has any speed. Yeah, none of these guys are going to be fast. So, I'm going to 49. Caleb Joseph. Yeah, none of these guys are... Austin Hedges, he's a rookie, so that's why he's fast, but he can't hit for shit. Austin Barnes can't really hit so catcher is probably just going to be one of those positions that you know it it's just not going to matter i mean G jt real muto here he can actually run for a catcher 63 speed that's not bad but you can't expect your catcher to be fast so at this point all we need now is a right fielder to complete the uh the lineup and i always drafted dh just because what if you were an american league team and you wanted to do the exact type of thing that i did you know so, we'll figure that out. Um, and the DH, we won't really probably worry about speed either. But, okay. So, we just need an outfielder. And Alex Rios is actually probably going to be the guy. The fact that he's there right now probably means I need to take him. 
Yeah, we're gonna just take Alex Rios. He's got almost 80 speed. He's he can hit for contact. He's got some power a little bit. Not a bad fielder. He's got the arm to play out there. Let's go, Alex Rios. I actually really like how this has turned out. So now, um, I guess the question is, do we want to just go ahead and get us a DH? Um, let's see what's at third. Pablo Sandoval. Now he can't run. That was dumb. And he's not even like a amazing hitter. Fucking Brock Holt's a better DH. That's actually that's not. <laughs> well, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's look at center fielders. I guess let's just Marcelo Zuna, fourth outfielder slash DH. Can you really go wrong there? I don't think you can. I mean, the guy's got enough power to play DH. He's a good hitter. He can actually run a little bit. Let's take Marcelo Zuna. I don't have anything wrong with that pick. You know, we could probably look to see if Evan Yadis is there. Um, let's do that. Let's let Evan Yadis still there. Okay, if he was, I'm blind. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take us some uh, pitchers. Oh, we still need a catcher. Um, uh, let's take Kyle Schwarber. He's uh, He's got a little bit of speed, and he can actually hit, looks like. So it's uh, round 10 now, so we got to just take pitchers. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just going to kind of just get guys here. If I see a name... I'm going to avoid taking these three guys because I take them in every th every draft, it seems like. So we're going to go with a little bit different stuff here. Um, we're going to just completely avoid the main guys I always take. Let's do that. Let's, uh, you know what? How about this? Let's go with them. I don't want to go with an old guy. one of these, my aces. You know, I don't want to do that. So let's actually find someone. I don't even know who this is. Who is Jimmy Nelson? I, if, am I stupid for not knowing who he is? Um, we'll take Chris Heston. He threw a no hitter, didn't he? So that's that's fine. Fine with that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna get a bad pitcher for our five. We can go Marco Estrada. I never take him. I saw Jose Quintana. I think he's a lefty, isn't he? Yeah. There's a lefty. All right, so that's three guys. We have a... I think those other two are righties, if I'm correct. Right, left, right, yep. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this guy, and since probably everyone else is going to get picked, I'll take just one of the old guys. Uh, I'm thinking Chris Medlin, unless I can find a lefty that I like. Brett Anderson. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> um... I'm really not even paying attention to stats. I'm just looking at names. I'll take Danny Duffy. He's a royal. He's a lefty. Oh, we get a quick pick, so we can actually get someone decent, probably. That's cool. Okay. Um, that worked out perfect. Kevin Gossman. I kind of like. Taiwan Walker. Let's go Taiwan Walker. I like that a lot, a lot. He's only 22. It seems like he's been like around forever, but he I, he hasn't. It just feels like he should be ready to go by now. It's only 22, though. Okay, so that actually didn't turn out to be a terrible rotation. You know, an ace would help, but it's not terrible. I, I took different guys than I usually do, so... Um... Let's, uh... Let's take a backup catcher, I guess. We'll just take a fast guy, just to go with the strategy, I guess. Eh, Austin Barnes, there we go. Can't hit, but I don't care. He's fast for a catcher. Um. Okay, we're just gonna. I don't. I, we can wait to get the bullpen guys. We don't need to take anybody right now. Is there anybody worth taking here? Anybody worth taking? Javier Baez. He's only 73 overall on here, on this uh, version of the Operation Sports roster. 
This is the weekly update number six that I'm using. It was uh, put out on the 18th of July, so. Uh, Jace Peterson. That line up. Yeah, is he playing? Okay. That, we could do that. We can do that. Um, let's see. Okay, all the pitchers and stuff are going. Uh, do we see anybody else that we really want? Yosano. Nah. You don't need him. Um, 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 um. We have our four outfielders, I guess. Because of the strategy. Okay, I guess Dyson's gone. I was going to take Dyson. Is he gone? Really? Oh, no. He's right there. Okay. Wouldn't hurt, you know, for the strategy at least to take him. And at this point. I probably need to just go ahead and get my relief pitchers and stuff. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so we Jace Peterson is going to be our util. Okay, so Austin Barnes. Is, we should have four bench guys: Barnes, Peterson, Ozuna, Dyson, and I guess we actually get one more because Ozuna is supposed to be the DH. So we get to pick one more guy here. And I think I'm going to go with um, Craig Gentry. Should I go with Craig Gentry? Craig Gentry. Not a bad hitter. Let's take him. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and take our levers and stuff. And Craig Gentry might have to be a minor leaguer. I'm not sure. But let's just get us our guys. You know, Koji for our closer, I guess. I'm not going to do anything different than I always do here. Joel Peralta. Um, Matt Thornton will be in there, I'm sure. Uh, we can go. Yeah, let's just get Matt Thornton, I guess. Jesus Christ, is I thought his K through nine was higher. Maybe it's probably changed. You go Ryan Madsen, Royals. Uh, Jason Frazier, they dropped him or designated him for assignment or something. I can't remember. I think it was designated for assignment. Um, let's see, we got, um, okay, we got three righties. We'll just get Matt Thornton, because I know he's a lefty. Um, Randy Choate, forgot about him. So two lefty, three righties, and, uh, the 25th round. What should we do? Should we go, should we go Vogel Song? Or LaTroy Hawkins. Haha, <laughs> LaTroy Hawkins. Alright guys, uh, let's hop in here and uh, set these these rosters and lineups up and whatever. Um, I actually kind of like how this team turned out, I think. I think it's going to be better than I expected it to be. I didn't... I, I don't know that you could say I did ex especially like speed, like really seriously speed, but... You know, I really like how it turned out, I think. If it's everything that I thought it was, I might actually play a few games with this. I still keep telling myself at some point I'm going to do a, a series within a series of one of these teams, but I just haven't done it. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be, yeah. Move him to AAA. AAA. Good. 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 No. Good. Move you on up. Move up and move up. Don't need to be out of the 40 man. There we go. All right. Okay. So, who do we want to lead off? I mean, pretty much everyone's going to be fast. So, um, I am thinking. Okay. First, let's just decide. I think I think Altuve is going to lead off. Um, we'll make Ozuna the DH there. Okay, let's just move our catcher to, to the eight hole. I think we're gonna do that. I think Carrera is gonna hit nine. I think I like that, the starts of that. Number two, we'll put Guerrero, or should we put Seeger? 
Let's put Seeker because he's a lefty. Let's make Gomez the three. Who's going to clean up? Who's got the most power? Guerrero? I can do that. I can do that for Guerrero. Then Hosmer. Well, yeah, Hosmer. Hosmer and Ozuna are similar. Ozuna just has more power. I guess we just have to decide how we want that. Let's go. Let's go Hosmer and Ozuna because then we split up. You know, we have a righty, lefty, righty, righty, lefty, righty, righty, lefty, right, righty. So it's just two righties and then a lefty in a row. I like that. I actually like this. Uh, Altuve, Seager, Gomez, Guerrero. The cleanup hitter could be better, but he has power. He's got 75 power versus righties, and he's a righty. So against lefties, he's got 82, as you can see. Um, that's always able to change, too. A lineup is never set in stone. Uh, you got Hosmer, who's got good contact, and he's a freaking amazing fielder. Ozuna is the DH slash fourth outfielder. Um, that's pretty good. Rios in right field. Uh, Schwarber is the catcher. Hitting him eight just because... Why not, I guess? I mean, the guy can actually hit. Um, and then Carrera at nine because he's got some speed. So, did I say Carrera? It's Correa, isn't it? I don't know how. Carlos Correa, isn't it? I don't know. I probably said it wrong a million times. But I really like this lineup, actually. I, I think this is a good lineup. And then on the bench, you have Austin Barnes because he has speed. Jace Peterson because he has speed. And he's actually got a little bit of contact. 60 versus righties. And, uh, well, yeah, 60 versus righties. Um, we have Dyson to run, 72 versus righties, uh, and 54 versus lefties. And then Craig Gentry, a decent contact hitter with 92 speed. So I guess our pinch hitter would probably be Gentry more, than, more most of the time. And then, you know, these two could pinch hit, but I'd probably look to use Jace Peterson as a pinch hitter. Um, and Austin Barnes is just a backup catcher. So only thing I would, maybe would do, well, we'll be in the National League. So, I mean... This will be the bench most of the time. But, I mean, Ozuna would be the righty. I'd probably look to maybe acquire a left-handed hitter that could actually be off the bench and pinch hit, you know, a little bit. But, um, okay, so for this, I think Marco Estrada is going to be the number one just because he's the veteran. He's got experience. And then Quintana, Duffy, Heston Walker maybe. No, 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 Let's go Heston, Duffy, Walker. Should I do that? Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Um, Estrada, definitely not an ace, but he's the experienced guy getting getting the number one position. Quintana, serviceable. Heston, he's a rookie. He can be fun. He can be good. Um, Danny Duffy was very good last year. And Taiwan Walker in the five to just, you know, he's the guy that you'd expect to be good. Um, in the bullpen here, um, I don't, I only like to go with one setup guy. And the reason for that is just, I, I like to put one guy in the setup spot because if you simulate, well, I mean, if you guys don't simulate, then I'll, by all means, go ahead and put the, let, like, the guy there. But if I, because of the fact that I simulate, I don't like, you know, <laughs> Uh, if you put a setup guy there, a lefty in there as well, it's going to only do it situational, so the guy's not going to get in very much to pitch. So I like to do it this way. Um, and then... Um, you know what? I'm just going to do that anyway, though, just because it's OCD. I don't want the freaking... I don't want them all spaced out like that. I should have just done the vocal song strategy. But anyway, we got Matt Thornton, the Sandman, Latroy Hawkins, Ryan Matson, Jason Frazier, Joel Peralta, Randy Cho, and Koji Yohara. So a veteran bullpen. The guys will probably all be 60 overalls by the end. But normally what I would do is I'd pick up some prospects and trade for a bullpen if I was doing a fantasy draft franchise. If this was your bullpen for a regular team, you probably need to trade a prospect for like three relievers because that's what you can do. So, I actually like this team. I might play a game or two with it. 
I probably would have to play more than a game or two just because if you only play a game or two, you're not going to be very good with the team because of the stances and whatnot. But, hey, I think it's a good team. Uh, one more quick look at it for you guys, I guess. Uh, Altuve, Seager, Gomez, Guerrero, Hosmer, Ozuna, Rios, Schwerber, and Carlos Carrera rounding it out. That's the DH version of the lineup. Uh, everything would be the same except for take Ozuna out if you're in the National League. And on the bench, Austin Barnes, Jace Peterson, Dyson, and Gentry. Might trade for a backup catcher. Uh, that's something you could do, as well as a better bench bat, pinch hitter. Uh, pitching rotation is Estrada being the veteran. Quintana, Heston, Duffy, and Walker. So, got an old bullpen, but hey, I like it. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. If you like it, like the video. It's been Tracky, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Ow.